is in striking vol in volleyball striking. Okay, my name is Muhammad Shahidi Mahmud and my name Muhammad Shahidi Kamatah. And today I uh, will gonna present to you the motion exercises that we do in volleyball striking. Okay, for the objectives of this motion exercises is first we want to know what muscle involved. Uh, bones and joints involved during this uh, motion. Uh, next, we want to identify the angle of the joints during during this technique. Uh, uh, last one is one we want to determine which class uh, class of level that is uh, used in this uh, technique. Next, uh, for your information, uh, volleyball is a uh, Team sport that include uh, 12 players that only use uh, 6 players in the court and this is a uh, 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 game that uh, uh, that player have to get 25 points to win the game. Uh, volleyball has uh, 5 uh, basic skills which is uh, serving, digging, setting, sub, uh, spiking and blocking. Uh, for our analysis, we use the spiking uh, skills. Spiking is the act of slamming the ball over the net into the opponent's courts effectively and aggressively. Yes. Okay, for the equipment that we use uh, in this uh, analysis, uh, the first one is volleyball court shoes, or you can uh, use other Got shoes that uh, is suitable for this uh, sport. The next one is ball, uh, which is the volleyball ball during this uh, analysis. This is one of the example of the ball. Next, last one is uh, court. We need to use the court because uh, it is the only place we can you can do the technique. Okay, for the muscle involved are. Uh, uh, in this uh, analysis uh, for the upper body, uh, which first one is the third bicep, forearm, tricep, and trapezius, uh, and X. Uh, the upper body uh, uh, mainly used during uh, in the mid air, and we want to contact the ball. And for the lower body, even for four muscle, that is. For this strength, hamstring, gastric, lineage, and gluteus. Uh, for the lower body, we mainly use doing for the jumping, and we want to jump and contact the ball. Next, uh, next uh, the ball involved uh, during this uh, fighting training. Uh, for the upper body, uh, the involved scapula, humerus, radius, ulna, and palpus, and spine. For the lower body, it involves a uh, femur, tibia, fibula, tarsa, pelvis, and patella. Okay, next, uh, joints involved uh, during, uh, uh, during the motion. Uh, mainly, uh, uh, all the joints that involve during the uh, motion. For the first one is spinal Pivot is uh, at the net that we can turn like this. Uh, it's uh, mainly used when we want to see the ball and want to contact the ball. Uh, second one is saddle. Saddle is uh, when we want to contact the ball and we do uh, using our wrist to slam the ball. Like this. And third one is ball and socket. That is at the shoulder, we use to rotate our arm and contact the ball. Uh, both as hinge, hinge uh, joint as the using at the elbow and knee. At the knee, we use uh, during the jumping. We want to take the momentum and jump. And for the elbow, we use to flat our arm and contact the ball. Uh, uh, next is our play joint. Play joint is at the ankle when we want to jump, we flex and we use our ankle to jump. Last one is uh, cardiac joint. Cardiac joint is uh, the, at our wrist uh, that we can turn like this and we want to when we contact the ball and we want to place and target the ball where to place the ball like this. 
Okay, next, uh, shall we uh, continue the slide? Okay, for the next slide is uh, <coughs> the references of play that involve. In volleyball, uh, we do the two types of play, that is sagittal and frontal. For sagittal, uh, we, we're gonna see the flexion, extension, hyperextension, dorsi and frontal flexion. <coughs> For the extension and flexion is uh, when we want to contact the ball and we use our hand to flexion and extension in that we do this and then extension. For the hyper extension, meaning that uh, we when we jump and our body we will be bent uh, backwards like this and then uh, go forward and bend with two. And low section and planta is uh, when we want to lift out our body when we walk in jumping. For uh, for our feet, our foot, uh, we do the do, uh, we do the planta fashion and then we do see when we jump. The movement of the feet is the uh, planta and do see. Okay. Next, uh, the second update uh, is frontal. Uh, we're gonna see the attachment and lateral attachment. Uh, the involved in this uh, thing. Uh, the attachment can we swing our hand backwards. And at least we uh, away from the midline. Our hand move backwards. And lateral attachment means that uh, um, when you see the, uh, this, uh, the movement is on the left and right. Our our right to contact board and this uh, muscle involved. <coughs> next, uh, uh, for the next uh, is the class level. Uh, the volleyball fighting, there's two uh, class level, which is the second class level and the third class level. For the second class level, uh, involved during jumping. Uh, the 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 uh, the the ball and foot. Uh, uh, act as a fulcrum, meaning that our 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 leg, our feet, uh, act as a fulcrum to support uh, the the load. Load is our body, mean our weight, our body weight uh, as a load. So uh, the fulcrum will support the the body weight, uh, meaning that uh, our feet will support the body weight uh, to lift up our body. Uh, the, to lift up our body, we want the the force. Force is our gastrocnemius. Uh, the gastrocnemius will uh, highly generate the force uh, to lift up our body and carry out our load to, to, to jump at the end or, um, or stay uh, higher jump, jumping. Okay, for the third class level, uh, involved during spiking. We know that uh, um, the, there's a fulcrum, force and a load in every class level. And during striking, the fulcrum is our shoulder. We need that support to support uh, when we contact the ball. Because uh, the bicep will be the force to slam the ball and the load as of, uh, the volleyball load, the volleyball, the ball. Uh, when we slam the ball, the ball is like here. Uh, uh, we we uh, see the ball in front of us, and then uh, the shoulder will support to to, to support the force uh, the, the the load uh, that will at the ball, and then uh, to generate the force to slam the ball faster, we need to use the bicep and also a little bit of tricep to slam the ball and give force to the load to slam the ball faster. Uh, this is the video analysis that we want to spike in. Okay, for the first uh, first step, uh, we uh, approach. Uh, for, the, uh, for this um, for this player, uh, is a Japanese player, Japan player. Uh, name is Yuki Shirawa, and his height, uh, the height of this player is one 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 hundred and ninety. 93 centimeter. Um, the we can see the first step is approach, mid approach to the neck. Uh, we can see the angle of his leg and as back back leg is 146 degree, 
and you can see the angle of the, of the front flip is 108 degree. <coughs> Okay, for the second step is a takeoff step. Meaning that uh, we take a uh, neck approach in that the second step we will take a step to the neck. Uh, you can see uh, the right the, the front leg is uh, 250 degree and the back leg is uh, is uh, back leg is uh, at the knee is uh, 226 degree. Uh, for your information, uh, the, uh, the center of, of the primary gravity is located at the uh, fully at the knee to, uh, to give uh, the back correct balance to, to take a step. You need that uh, all of the gravity is at the at, at the uh, cordyceps. Well, sorry for my mistake. Uh, not for not at the knee, but at the Body set all the set of the dirty. Yes. Okay, this is uh, the, the second step. Uh, uh, you can see uh, the leg or uh, the leg you need uh, to take uh, for the first step. Second step, you can see uh, different. Uh, for the step leg, it's already 250. Uh, uh, and the uh, front leg is <coughs> is nine is four hundred and uh, one hundred and forty four degree. Okay. Uh, this is the next step. Uh, before jumping, uh, we take another step. And for your information, uh, uh, because uh, why this is why the back leg is ninety five degree and uh, its angle of the feet is twenty degree. Uh, because uh, you want to make you want to make a descent balance to make descent balance. And for your information, the center of the, of the gravity is is uh, located at the hip because you want to jump and walk the gravity. Uh, our our glutes, our glute body. Next is the face. Uh, the third face is the uh, wall jumping. Wall jumping. We can see. Uh, so, uh, we can see our his body is uh, is straight and also a little bit of bend. We can see his hand. Uh, it's straight for it's straight upwards and it's not uh, for the uh, it's angle of the hand is 170 degree and your body is a little bit bent uh, the angle of your body is 205 degree and also the leg uh, of the when jumping is 90 degree well, uh, for your information uh, the center gravity when jumping is uh, in a line, the straight line. Uh, the gravity is involved uh, at their abdominals, at X, at their X. Okay, this uh, uh, the last phase uh, when slamming the ball. Uh, your body, when hyper extension, we will be uh, dog uh, forward. We move forward, and the angle of the you can see the angle of your hand is 120, 123 degree from from 170 degree to 123 degree. Uh, which the when this and we move forward like this. And slam the ball to the opponent court. Okay, the, this is the discussion that we have made uh, when we see the video that assist. 
volleyball fighting technique. Uh, if you want to perform the right or correct technique in, in this uh, spiking, you have to maintain, uh, uh, maintain the correct form in approaching the ball. And also, vital how to play this part, the volleyball using all the rotation power. Right amount of degree, bending of leg can increase uh, the vertical jumps of the athlete. And also, the, uh, we have the correct method to fight enemy air. Um, uh, we also need to involve in spiking one board uh, when we use our hand and also we need to correct angle to generate more force and also give more power to hit the ball and slam the ball uh, downward at the opponent court. Okay, next, uh, for the conclusion, the purpose of this study is to provide a review uh, of uh, Literature in valuable uh, volleyball units, uh, which is uh, we study uh, this. Uh, this motion is to know uh, what how we call the technique uh, to do the spiking technique, and we want uh, to increase the performance of uh, uh, of spiking technique, and lastly we want to avoid injury if. Uh, if we do the correct technique, we can avoid injury after doing this technique. And lastly, this is the reference that we take, and uh, there is three uh, reference. This for the book, and also this is uh, the from the website. And this is the video for the video that we take at the YouTube at the Japanese player. That's all from us. Thank you.